on, back to the old fern dump. So far, all I found is twist top bottles. Remembered my gloves this time, or a glove. Lots of twist top bottles. That would have been a nice one, I think. That I don't think was twist top. was a 16 ounce Pepsi. So we'll see what else we can find. There's a top to an old one that's not a twist top. There's another top to an older one. So let's see what we can find. in the ground. An evil one. Anyhow, I brought my privy probe to help me decide where to look for glass bottles. See how deep it goes. Yeah, the ground might be froze already. Yep. I'm not gonna be able to use the privy probe. Not yet. Not until I break through the frost layer. spring. Coke tap. That's a twist off. The beer can tap. Pepsi. Seven up, it's green. Plastic. That's not a good sign. Now well, I'll get back to you if I find something. Well, I haven't found anything old over here yet. Not real old. Um, I did find this, which is interesting, but I think it's a 
plastic cap. So that was kind of interesting. I don't see any embossing on it. Some kind of pop bottle. I'm not sure what kind. I'm not sure how old. It's got a root growing through it. Some pieces of porcelain. <coughs> Excuse me. It had pink on it, but this is metal. It's got a spring on it. I'm not sure what it is. Probably farm equipment or something. Um, I forgot to mention this earlier. This is a John Deere uh, plow point, so that's a good find because it seems like it's whole. It doesn't look broken to me, but I don't know anything about plow points. So, but somebody like Gallo wine. That's what that is. <coughs> but I'm gonna try a different spot in the dump. Because uh, this isn't old enough. So, um, I have done more research on the property. And the owner of the property in 1874 was a Civil War veteran. <coughs> so, I will definitely be working harder at this place. So, on to the next part of the dump. Now this part of the dump seems older here. So far I found it's a screw top but it could just be a bare aspirin bottle or something. I don't know. It's got numbers on the bottom but I don't see any wording. And this whoa, this appears to be a medicine bottle. This was a dairy farm, so, and it is thicker glass, as you can see. No writing on it that I can see. Oh, I just noticed this. Depression glass. That's a better sign. Well, that's thick, thick pain glass. I don't know if it has any bubbles in it or not. I don't see any bubbles in it. It's plate glass. Got a jar here. Let's see what it is. Oh, there's something sharp there. Piece of barbed wire. That might be part of a pop bottle. I don't know. metal. I have no idea what that is. Top of a jar. Twist off. Don't let anybody kid you into thinking that this is easy. 
It's hard work, but it's good exercise. Goodness gracious, that's not fun to come out. Well, here's an evil one, even in this one. Plastic. So, there's going to be multi-era stuff in this. It's just cross-sensory contamination. There's really no way around that. broken. It is. That looks like another pop bottle. And another one. Well, I'll get back to you if I find more. this out pretty deep. This is the second spot. Um, did find some more interesting stuff, but I still don't think it's that old. Um, found these rubber grommet-like things. I showed you that bottle. I found two bottles like that now, and I would have liked to have found this one whole. That is the tiniest bottle. I have no idea, maybe an old perfume bottle. That's what the top kind of reminds me of. But didn't find the rest of it. Did find some amber glass, one piece, nothing else with it. I think this is a car part thing. And this is part of an oil filter, old beer can. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to hang on to it. It's plastic or rubberized, but it kind of reminds me of a handle to a toy gun or something. So, same thing on both sides. I bet you that's what it was. Didn't find any metal parts to it. So, I'm going to hang on to that. Found tons of spam cans. My mother, God rest her soul, used to make spam with pineapple on it. I do not like spam. Did find this old, old enamelware with the cobalt blue on the edge baking dish. It's in pretty rough shape. But that's a first sign of something somewhat old. So but that's the first spot I dug out and didn't find a whole lot real old and then this is the second spot Let me step on the other side of this concrete abutment thing I haven't decided if that's a barrel buried down there or what I don't know then I walked down here with my hoe and I just started scraping, trying to find stuff. Still find an old, only new stuff on top. Scraped around in here. Scraped down in here. And went all the way, scraping here and there. Just trying to find remnants of glass and stuff. All the way to the swamp. Which, I don't know if you can see it way off there. The sun's kind of in our eyes. It's about 50 feet away. So, but I didn't find that much. So, but I figured I'd take advantage of the day. Because, uh, as I said before, this is not easy work by any means. I started out with uh, three layers on and took my down jacket off. I was sweating so bad. So, I'll try to bring my grandson back before it snows. He's a big, strong boy, and he'll be able to help me dig. So, but until next time.
Thanks for watching. This week's shout out goes to Cash Mole. Please check out his channel and tell him Digging with Deej sent you. Please like, subscribe, and share.